Hi, this is Jason here at RoofSnap. Hi, and this is Katrina. And uh, we are going through our continued session of frequently asked questions. Uh, so Katrina, what else do we have uh, going back to sort of the measuring and estimating side of things? Uh, so one question that we hear a lot is, how do I get my sketches to look nice and straight like those that I have uh, ordered? That's a great question. Yeah. Well, to answer that question, I think it's best if we transition over to RoofSnap in the app. And I'm here on iOS on a, uh, well, on a, uh, how big is this one? A 12.9 inch? 12.9 inch iPad Pro. Yep. And uh, we've picked out a roof, something a little more complicated than our typical um, easy up and over. And what I'd like to introduce is a new feature that we have released uh, for everyone to use on the app, and we call it 90 Mode. Mm -hmm. And it's going to allow you, if you choose to use it, it's not, it's not required, but it's going to allow you to draw perfectly horizontal and vertical lines and also cue you when your cursor is reaching sort of an intersecting line more than an intersecting line, an intersecting plane that represents another line or the end of a line. So to get our vernacular straight, when we have a line, which I can't draw yet because I haven't snapped the image, <laughs> but when I have a line, the beginning and the end of the line, we call them joints, where another line can connect to a line at, at an intersection there. We call that a joint. Mm -hmm. um, so let's, uh, let's talk about, first of all, though, getting the, um, the image as straight as possible. Because if we're going to be drawing perfectly horizontal and perfectly vertical lines, then the image that we snap has to be perfectly straight to begin with. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the tool makes absolutely no sense. Sure. Luckily, we've got these nice uh, crosshairs here that will help us line up our image. We do. So when we turn the image left and right, we can get it square and straight in the screen. I typically like to use you know, the longest gutter edge and just try to run my horizontal line right through the center of the gutters. And I'm looking really straight right there, but I'm not going to leave it at that. I'm going to come over to the side. I'm going to check the right side, come over to the other side, check the left side, and maybe one predominant ridge. And as far as I can tell, I'm as straight as I'll be able to get it. Looks good. Then we'll go ahead and snap and start drawing. And this will take just a second. <laughs> All right, now we have the roof here snapped into our drawing screen. And uh, as many of you are familiar, you'll come to draw. And when you put your finger on the screen, you get crosshairs and a cursor. And I want to draw your attention to this new little icon up here in the left. Right now, it's in what we call freestyle mode. And you can draw the lines in any order, just as you are used to, mm -hmm. at any angle. Um, let's go ahead and undo all those. Now, when you turn on 90 mode, you tap right on the icon, and it's going to switch to something that doesn't look terribly different from uh, the crop icon in some software, but this is an indication of how the line is going to sort of snap at 90 degrees and also snap at crossing lines. So let's do an example here. I'm going to set my cursor and draw the line. Now I can still draw at an angle, but what it's going to do is it's going to kind of snap right to 90, so I, I can almost feel it when I'm drawing the line. And that lets me know that I'm level all the way across. And then when I get to the, the next turn to come down the eave, it stayed at 90. If I move it to the right, it'll come off, but I have to move it a ways before it jumps off of a vertical line. Mm -hmm. Now I get to that valley, I can still draw diagonally up that valley, but then when I tap and come across, Again, if I move a ways away from horizontal, it's going to move. But if, as long as I stay close to horizontal, it's going to keep that line perfectly straight. Again, I can still draw my diagonal. But here, 
what it's doing is it's snapping right to that point. And the reason it's snapping there is because it recognizes that there's another, another point here. And, uh, and, and the cursor is actually just kind of snapping right to that plane. When I come up the other side, it's going to do it again. It's going to snap right there to the outside corner, perfectly level with the plane to the left, mm. letting me know that I have reached that target. And I tap again. And now I can come across. And again, I can move off of that point. But as long as I keep it right, you know, within, uh, I don't know, within 10 pixels or something like that, it'll hold on to it. And then I can come all the way down. Keeps it nice and straight. I can tap and come across, still keeps it nice and straight. And here it's snapping again. And this one is snapping to the corresponding point here, letting me know I'm right in line with it. And then I can come up, come across, and it's going to grab it again there, corresponding with that line directly above. Hmm. And then I come down, and now it's catching again, corresponding with here. And it's just, it's feeling all of those points. And, and when you're drawing, you can actually sort of feel it snap to all those different locations. So here, it's sort of grabbing to this upper point here that we're going to draw to and close. And then, of course, when we close, we're looking for the big red circle. We tap. And now we're going to go ahead and switch to facets mode. And we'll see that we haven't drawn the whole roof yet, but everything that we have drawn is shaded in blue. So that is 90 mode. Um, I'm going to take um, maybe just one more minute and draw out a few more lines just to give you guys an idea of how you can use this. So we have this lower section here. And the way that's going to connect is we'll actually draw over about a foot and draw in the underhang. But instead of coming all the way to the end, we'll back off about a foot, scoot over a little bit, come down, come over to the other side. Now, it's not exactly mirror image on this side, but I'm going to draw it just, just as if it were. Because 90 mode helps us find all the parallel points, symmetrical points, on the left side. So we can catch it there, we can come over, we can catch it there, we can come up, we can catch it there, and come over. And that's really beneficial, especially for a detail um, such as this side of the roof that is a little bit in shadow. So that 90 mode really helps us find where that other side ends. Yep, and it still functions as normal where it's going to allow us to draw our diagonal lines, our hips and valleys, mm -hmm. without having to turn it off. But if we need to turn it off, we can always pop it off to draw a diagonal line, and then if you start drawing, you can turn it back on while you're in the process of drawing a line, and it'll still then now start to snap back to other points and to 90 degrees. Great. So if I draw out these hips, and then come to the other side of the roof, it's going to help me. This is a, a roof that has a lot of symmetry, so here it's lining up with the left side. I can snap up to there, I can draw down, and it's going to stop and just pop right to the point parallel with the left side. God, that's great. <laughs> yes, it really speeds up the amount of time that it takes to draw, especially when there's a lot of repetitive symmetry involved. Mm -hmm. And then when I go back to facets, you'll see that everything now is, is sliced and diced with the, with the hips and the ridges, and 90 mode helped us draw a much more... Um, uh, symmetrical and accurate drawing mm -hmm. uh, based on the architecture of this roof. And you didn't have to hover over and straighten anything out. Of course you could. You could. Uh, but if, uh, Well that's good like to point out. Have to. If you come in with your cursor and grab a point as you have in the past, it automatically turns 90 mode off temporarily so that you can make changes. Mm -hmm. We can come up and we can grab this one and we can pull it over and, and, and maybe we just needed to make the overhang a little bit a little bigger. Once we have it where we like it, we can turn 90 mode right back on and continue with vertical and snap to tolerance lines. Great. So that's how you draw straight in roof snap. We'll probably do a few more videos in the future on 90 mode. But again, thank you as always for joining us and we'll see you soon. Thanks guys.